Hello folks and welcome to the series of Techie Tableau Tips brought to you by Nice Software Solutions. In this series, we will be exploring some amazing features of Tableau, its integration and their use cases. Today, we will learn to integrate Tableau with Python using Tableau Desktop and Python. Python and Tableau are among the best technologies that address business-driven advanced analytics challenges. While Tableau offers to deal with complex calculations, it has certain limitations as compared to Python. This is where TabPy comes into the picture. TabPy allows us to incorporate more advanced analytics such as time series and machine learning algorithms into our already powerful visualizations. So what exactly is TabPy? It is an analytics extension implementation that expands Tableau capabilities by allowing users to execute Python scripts and saved functions via Tableau stable calculations. This is a great feature as we can show what our Python code does and how it connects to data in the form of visualizations. With cross-functional teams growth, this is a breakthrough act for business intelligence, data analytics, and scientist roles. Using TabPy, we can run Python scripts on the fly and display the result as visualizations on Tableau. Users can control the data connected to TabPy by interacting with their own Tableau worksheets, dashboards, or stories using different parameters. Basically, we can get the Python functionalities with the help of Tableau. I know what's your next question. So when do we use TabPy? The answer is, we can define calculated fields in Python and leverage the power of many machine learning libraries straight from a visualization platform. For example, it just takes few lines of Python code to get reviews of the products sold by the online retailers and explore the result in multiple ways using Tableau. Here are some of the benefits of TabPy. It uses the popular Anaconda environment which contains pre-installed and ready-to-use Python packages like Pandas, NumPy and sklearn. However, we can install any Python library in our script. Using the TabPy complex function makes it easy to maintain, share, and reuse in service environments. We can improve and update model code behind endpoint while the calculated field keeps working without any change. And the dashboard author doesn't need to know the complexity of the model behind the endpoint. Let's proceed with the installation of Anaconda distribution of Pythons on Windows. Visit anaconda.com slash downloads. Download the most recent Python 3 release. Select the appropriate option. After the download completes, open and run the .exe installer. Let's click next to confirm the installation and agree the license terms. Now here, on the advanced installation option screen, Check the Add Anaconda to My Path Environment Variable checkbox if you are installing Anaconda for the first time. However, it is not recommended to select the checkbox option if you have installed Anaconda previously. And the Anaconda software is ready to use. Open Anaconda Navigator. Launch the Jupyter Notebook and create a new Python file. For this demonstration, we are importing NLTK and VEDA lexicon libraries. VEDA stands for Valence Aware Dictionary and Sentiment Reasoner. It is a rule-based and lexicon sentiment analysis tool that is specifically available for the sentiments expressed on social media. Use Shift plus Enter to install this library on Anaconda distribution. Now, the Python library is ready to use. 
Let's now go through the installation of TabPy. To create a virtual environment, we will use Anaconda command prompt. Let us open the command prompt as the base user. Now enter the command as shown on screen. You can select any name for the virtual environment. Proceed with the yes. Now we will install and upgrade pip using the command as shown on the screen. This will install the latest version of pip in the machine. Pip is a package manager for Python packages. Now, to install tabpy, enter pip install tabpy in the command prompt. To run the tabpy server, simply enter the tabpy in command prompt. The final step is to connect the Tableau desktop and the tabpy server. To do so, Open the Tableau desktop and navigate to Help, Settings and Performance, Manage Analytics Extension Connection. You will get an Extensions Connection dialog box. Select TabPy. Now you can see the TabPy confirmation message in the terminal window that mentions Web Service Listening on Port 9004. Here specifies the server as localhost and as 9004. Click Test Connection. This connects Tableau to TabPy server. Now, let us see a use case of sentimental analysis. Let us now go through the dataset. We have a column, common text, that is the comment section. We will assign the polarity score based on this field. All the reviews are unstructured and hence gives us the best use case for the sentiment analysis. Now, navigate to Tableau where we will create a calculated field using TabPy function. Here we will use script reel as we are calculating the polarity of the feedback and the output could either be any positive or negative number ranging between 1 and minus 1. First, we will call the library Sentiment Intensity Analyzer from NLTK.sentiment where NLTK stands for Natural Language Toolkit. The command text is equal to underscore ARG1 passes the review column as an argument. The empty list is for the polarity score named as scores in the field. The polarity score is assigned from extremely low to high. Using the for loop we are passing each sentence on the polarity score. This will be stored in the score list. With the ATTR segment, we can pass the text data from Tableau desktop to the TabPy server. So let's pull the common text in rows and sentiment score fields in the view. The script is executed only when we dragged the field in the view. Observe that we have around 16 different reviews based on which we have the scores assigned. The polarity score depends on the positive and negative words present in the comment section. To assign the color coding based on this value, simply drag this calculated field on the color card. Now observe that this review contains positive words. However, it is plain message and hence we have a comparatively lower polarity score. The immediate next review contains the same message with special characters and hence has a higher polarity score. In the next review, there are words like terrible and dead. This means that the user experience was extremely unsatisfactory because of which the polarity score is quite low. We can see that scores change as per the intensity of the words used in feedback. If a comment contains a smiley or emoji, then in an exponential way, its polarity score also changes. As we are aware, using the machine learning capabilities, accuracy in polarity score may differ from one package to another. This was one quick example of how we can execute Python data models on the fly with Tableau using TabPy. To summarize, by using TabPy, we can understand the unstructured text, 
and retrieve meaningful pieces of information as sentiments and options which help us in quantifying the perception of the present and the potential customers regarding all these factors. Hope you enjoyed this video and have a useful takeaway. To get notified about the next video, hit the bell icon and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.